Hello everybody. Well, as promised, I'm going to show you how to put together a basketball cake. First, you're going to need a square cake, and you'll cut the top off, because as you know, when you bake, you end up with a lump on top. And you also need a semicircle. You can either use a stainless steel bowl, or you can buy a pan specifically meant for this purpose, and level that off as well. Then you'll need to ice the base, which will basically be your backboard. And the secret to icing is to make sure that the cake is completely cool before you try to ice the cake, otherwise crumbs will break off and get into your icing. And then you'll end up with icing that's not the, the pure color of the icing that you're looking for. However, in this case it doesn't really matter that much since you're going to be covering it in fondant anyway. And if you don't know where to get or how to make fondant, I actually have a tutorial on YouTube already on how to make marshmallow fondant. So you just smooth on the icing. You have to put a pretty large pile on top and then smooth it around and that'll keep you from ending up with a lot of crumbs. Then you're going to take the fondant and break off a piece that's about the size that you're going to need for your cake. And in this case I'm only covering the baseboard. So I'm just going to roll it out with a rolling pin and make sure that you dust your rolling pin with powdered sugar. And you see that I'm periodically lifting the fondant off of the counter because I want to make sure that it's not sticking. When you've gotten it the size that you want, you roll it up on the rolling pin and then you carefully lay it out onto your cake. And try to center it properly so that you'll have enough room on all sides to cover the entirety of the cake. Then you just take your hand and smooth it out, or you can use a smoothing instrument that they specifically make for smoothing fondant. And then you just shape it around the cake, and you cut off the excess with a pizza cutter. For the round, or the semicircle, or the hemisphere for the ball, you'll ice it the same way that you ice the backboard, add a large pile on top and then slowly ice it down the sides. Once again this will help prevent any crumbs from getting into your icing. For this fondant, for the ball, you want the fondant to be the color of a basketball. So you add food coloring in orange and brown and you'll eventually get a nice basketball color as you see here. And I did the same thing, I just rolled it out then rolled it around the rolling pin, lay it over the top of the basketball, and then just stretch it around the ball and shape it so that it fits perfectly. And you just very carefully tug on it. If you pull too hard, you'll tear it. And if you tear it, you're going to have to start over because it's very difficult to repair torn fondant. So just be very, very careful with the fondant. Just shape it around and then you'll trim it off and then you'll take that ball and you'll lay it on top of your backboard so here you see me putting the ball on the backboard and I'm just going to center it a little bit and then you can line the bottom of the ball so that you can hide the seam between the ball and the backboard and that just helps to be more aesthetically pleasing. Then what you're going to do is make the lines of the basketball and I decided to use a piece of string as a guide and then I just take a paintbrush and some food coloring and I paint it across where you see the piece of yarn so that it's a straight line. And then as you know there isn't just one line on a basketball it has several lines, and so you just do the same thing for all those lines. And just be very careful that you follow the lines so that you don't stray and end up with really ugly lines. You want it to look as authentic of a basketball as you can possibly make it. So here you see that I've already lined out the uh, net 
and I've painted on the red paint that you see on the backboard. And then instead of writing happy birthday for however many years, I put MVP for the number of years, and in this case it was 28 years. And you just pipe that out really carefully. It's kind of hard to pipe out something like this when you're piping out on a vertical surface, but just go slowly and you'll be able to pipe it out just fine. And basically, that's it to your basketball cake.